Hello, I'm Anna Mika and this is my gallery. We're using new 3D technology, so feel free to look around. It's quite amazing. Now this exhibition is at the Sale Gallery, the Gippsland Art Gallery, and this is my space dedicated to my work in the gallery. Um, I feel very honoured to have such a beautiful space and I'm ever grateful. Here today, this is the fifth exhibition I've put on and so far I've shown 106 works in five exhibitions. They range greatly in this show from my very earliest works, uh, the 1973, 74 era, and as you can see they're on Hessian, they're very primitive, but that was the beginning. Even the donkey um, was an experience and that is the other point that all my work is inspired by things I've seen and all are from Gippsland. This is a sawfly, that's a middle period and the sawflies are hatching out of their cocoons under the ground into the world. It's something I experienced in our front yard. They have these massive clumps of caterpillars and they come down the tree all together, join together go down under the ground, make these sort of cocoons and then they hatch two or three months later when, when there's been rain. Sawflies is, is an incorrect term, they're really wasps because they have four wings, not two wings. So that's another aspect is drawing and drawing, researching. Here is another early work, it's a spider, a leaf curling spider. At the moment in everyone's garden you'll see leaves hanging around in webs and the spiders hide in between. This is one of my later works called Pheromone Frenzy. It's a moth hatching under the ground, from under the ground. Um, you can see the skyline and the soil line and all the other pupae underneath and a moth is diving towards it. Here's some superb blue wrens. Again, something I've seen in nature and lucky enough to have the blue wrens in my own backyard. This work belongs to the Sale Art Gallery and we've got it on show for this exhibition. Sketches, again, a video showing how the blue wrens are made is available. And here's one of my really later works called Face On. Sketches for face on are done and research done and this is a female that is hatched from under, finished under the ground um, in the leaf litter and she's just got her wings all dried up and pointed beautifully. She's got very wary eyes looking at the world we know she's a female because as soon as they hatch, uh, they release a pheromone and every male within a kilometre will come and find her. So she's hatched there in the leaf litter in the long grass. Here's a showcase that um, shows exactly the techniques and methods and fabric and samples that I've used in making the work. Um, I do this educational part because so many questions I get about how do you do it, how do you do it, where do you get your inspiration, but mostly how do I do it. So that is for the public inspiration as well. Here, here is some sculptural works, I also make sculptural works and um, this is all made with uh, silk and merino wool and um, mohair underneath black silk organza both of these works and they stand, stand free 